you will know how to download and install the Distant Horizons beta for Minecraft launch with the Prism Launcher in this video. Firstly, go to the link in the description down below that says Iris Project Discord Server and head into it. Once you're in the Iris Project Discord Server, go to this Distant Horizons category under that the DH compatibility FAQ channel and after that scroll up you might need to scroll up and you'll see links here for Distant Horizons. So these files contain all the mod files necessary to launch Distant Horizons properly. Ignore this because we will install a fabric instance later in prism launcher so click on your desired version that you want to install i'll be installing this 1.20.41 and if it says potentially or potential dangerous download hit continue to download because this is very safe you can even scan it with virus tolo if you want to but if it asks you to save tap or click on save as click on downloads and then save it on your downloads folder once the file is downloaded go to your file explorer go to your downloads folder and then after that right click on this iris sodium beta file that we've downloaded earlier first you need to left click on it and then right click and then go down to extract all right here and then click on extract now you'll see the folder appear right before you so head into this folder and you'll see the mods and the shader packs right here. Now go to your prism launcher, add an instance right here, select 1.20.4 or 1.20.1. It depends on the file you've downloaded earlier from the Discord server. So I downloaded 1.20.4, I'll choose that version. And then go down here to mod loader and select fabric. Usually I just select the one with the store because it's like the recommended version. After that, just click on OK. So you can rename it by pressing F2 on your keyboard or right clicking with it and then clicking on rename. So I'm going to add like DH at the end to know it's like the Distant Horizons instance that I have. So after creating your Fabric instance, just launch it just so it initializes the files and creates a mod folder and probably a shader packs folder later as well. Okay, once it's launched, you can just exit out of it. Now in Prism Launcher, while selecting your Distant Horizons Fabric instance, go to the right and then click on folder this will open your minecraft folder so for, you also need to click on double click on the dot minecraft folder to get in after that go back to your folder which had like the content of the zip that we've unzipped earlier because if you can see we have a mods folder here from our prism launcher fabric instance and then we also have another shader packs folder that should be in here but because we don't have iris installed yet it's, it's not in here so as this is a newly installed instance we can just drag and drop this and it'll just overwrite any existing folders here but if you do have mods here for example you want to try it with distant horizons what you need to do is go inside of this mods folder from the prism launcher fabric instance you'll see it's empty and then go to this folder from the zip file we've unzipped earlier just double click on this there you go and you'll see all the mods that distant horizons need in order to launch it so make sure you select them all and then drag and drop them to this Prism Launcher Fabric instance, okay? The one with nothing in it. Or maybe with something in it, maybe other mods you want to try out with Distant Horizons. Now go back, hit this arrow right here in this Prism Launcher Fabric instance folder, like that. And then you'll be moved here once again. And then in the folder where we had like the files of the zip file we've unzipped earlier, hit the back arrow once again. And then just for simplicity's sake, just drag and drop the shader packs folder here, okay? But if you have shader packs, other shader packs that you've already installed, just go inside of it. Just go inside of this like zip folder that we've unzipped earlier, the folders of that. And then just go back to this Prism Launcher Fabric instance and then go to its shader packs folder and then drag whatever shaders that Distant Horizons provided you with. But in this case, as you guys can see, no shader packs folder, so I would need to create one. But it's unnecessary to create one because we can just drag and drop this shader packs folder here, okay? So with that, hit control on your keyboard and then drag and drop the shader packs folder to the Prism Launcher Fabric instance that we had earlier. There you go. So now there will be a shader packs folder right here. So once all the files from this extracted folder that we've got have been imported to the Prism Launcher fabric instance what we need to do is just go to prism launcher and then launch this prism launcher fabric instance for distant horizons so just hit launch right here 
So you can proceed with single player and then create a new world as normal. There you go. You, If you've done everything correctly, you will see a chat right there on the bottom left. Distant Horizons Experimental Build. You're running an unsupported version of Distant Horizons. Here be dragons. Because again, this is a beta. So that's why it's unsupported. So you might be wondering, where is the shaders? Well, because there's a missing mod that Distant Horizons should have provided in my opinion. So here you're prism launcher while selecting your distant horizons fabric instance go to edit right here go to mods right here and then hit download mods search up mod menu there you go not in caps but there you go it will be this one right here but that might change in the future tap or click on it select your version right here so i'll be selecting this top one because it's for 1.20.4 and then select the mod for download. After that, click on review and confirm right here. And then click on and then click on OK. So there you go. Now the mod menu mod has been added right here. You can now hit close right here and then launch the instance once again. So now once you've launched Minecraft, you will see the mods menu here. Let's go. So click on mods and then you will see the Iris client right here. And then you can access the settings right here. As you can see, you can configure Iris and then enable the shaders right here. The bliss shaders that were provided to us earlier. Okay. Click on that and then it is enabled, but you will need to hit on apply right here. Okay. Now hit on done right here and then done once again and go back to your world. Okay, so if you're not using like an AMD graphics card, you will be fine right here with the clouds. But for me, I'm using an RX 580, so there's something, and an AMD card as well, yeah. This doesn't happen only to RX 580s, but it happens with AMD cards. I'm not sure if there's a list, but the clouds are flickering. Look at that, that's not right. So I'll be increasing my render distance right here to 18. My processor is like a 12 year old processor or like something from 2012. So it's not going to be that powerful, but it's still powerful enough to make sure this game launches with distant horizons. But as you can see, it is working fine right there. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay. And yes, you can see my specs right now. It's like an i7 3770 and I'm very, very happy about it. Okay. I'm very happy. So you can see it is working very nicely. There's really no problems right now. I hope yours didn't crash. So I'm just waiting for the chunks to load later. We will stick around. We will fix this cloud issue if you're having it actually. And yes, this is only a problem for now in future versions and in, in the future, you might not be doing this part or that part with fixing the clouds because it's actually a problem with Bliss Shaders and its version. So when a later version of Bliss Shaders is provided by the Distant Horizons team, then you don't really need to do what I'm going to do later for you AMD users. Okay, you fellow AMD users. I think that's a village. No, I think that's a Mesa biome. Okay, but. But yes, it is working. Look at that. Look at that awesome generation. Yo, look at the fu- What? This looks so amazing, okay? But we've successfully installed the Distant Horizons right now. You're ready to play the game and have fun with this mod. But for you AMD users, fellow AMD users, we need to fix this ugly issue so exit the game guys and you would need to go to this github page which is linked in the description here you would need to click on this code button after clicking on it you can download the zip so hit on download zip and again if it asks you to save just save it in your downloads folder like right here there you go downloads and then hit on save so there you go we've downloaded this very up-to-date bliss shaders go to your file explorer go to downloads and then you don't really need to extract the shader pack you just need to right click on it left click of course before and then hit on cut make sure you've actually closed down the game go to your prism launcher and then hit on your distant horizons fabric instance right here hit on folder right here on the right go to minecraft go to shader packs and then right click and paste this will move, okay, if we go to downloads, that file we've downloaded, that very up-to-date Bliss Shaders shader pack was moved here in the shader packs folder for the fabric instance. Now, logically, you might want to delete this Bliss Shaders that was provided by Distant Horizons. 
which I do agree. So to delete it, of course, probably most of you guys know how to delete, you know, just just delete it because this Blitz Shader main will work perfectly fine now. So launch your instance once again on Prism Launcher. Launch your world once again. Oh yeah, this might not have the shaders already enabled because we've deleted the shaders we were using earlier okay so once you're in your world you might not have your shaders enabled yet so right here yes we don't have shaders but go hit escape on your keyboard go to the mods tab right here or menu click on iris and then click on this the configure button right here and then enable this bliss shader main which we've installed or imported earlier okay click on it and then hit on apply down here and this will use the latest bliss shaders which will not have any problems with amd graphics cards okay there you go yeah you guys saw a glimpse of it it looks very awesome now with the clouds and stuff i love the shadows so if this helped you out make sure you guys do a super thanks because that will mean a lot and it will be my motivation to make more tutorials like this one right here it's one of my motivations to be honest you know subscribe ring that notification bell icon and set it to all if you guys don't want to miss videos like this one right here like and share this video if you guys want to help other people install distant horizons for minecraft the launch with prism launcher make sure you guys become a channel member if you're interested in early access to my videos community posts that is exclusive and behind the scenes content from my channel and by the way i also have a discord server so please go join that discord server which is in the description if you guys have any issues you can also jump in there it's also additional support alongside like the iris project discord server but if you guys want to keep watching make sure you guys click on the video that you guys see on your screens right now read the bible verse that's somewhere on your screens right now as well and i hope you guys stay safe all praises to the most high and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye -bye.